right, so in the last video, we used next get static props to hit an endpoint on this ball don't lie API, where we grabbed all of the individual teams and rendered them on this home page. We obviously didn't focus anything on styles or anything like that. The purpose of this video is to utilize get static paths in combination with get st static props so that we can turn each of these list items into a link and then click on that to get the individual team details uh, for each of these individual teams. So let's go ahead and dive in. I have the project open for uh, from when we left off. I ran Yarn Dev, so it's uh, started on the server. First thing that we wanna do is import link from next link so that we can turn these list items into links with next when you're uh, routing internally you can just use this link since we're routing to another page on our site so we can do link and then href equals curly braces backtick slash and then our route should be uh, dollar sign curly braces team dot id and then we can close that off. And then for now, um, next has you uh, put an anchor tag inside of the link as well. And we're just pulling this team ID off of the uh, team that we're pulling in. So we're, so we're mapping through all of the teams and we got the name. The ID is one of those pieces and you could see it in the terminal here. So the ID, city conference, all that stuff. So that's where we're getting that from. So this page should be good. And since we're gonna be doing something similar for our individual team page, we can actually copy all of this. And then inside of pages, I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna put square brackets around it and call it uh, id.js. And all these square brackets mean in next is that this will be a page template that's used to generate dynamic content. So there's my id.js. I'm going to paste in my home page and then make some edits. So I'm going to get rid of this link. We won't need that. Uh, and then we won't need this unordered list. And then for h1, we can just hard code in team for now. This is going to take in an individual team. And then we can export default function team. Okay, um, that should be okay for now. So let's flip back over. This shouldn't be working yet. Let's refresh it real quick. And then if we click on one of these. Okay, so some good things are happening, some not good things are happening. Uh, good thing, it is routing us to the correct ID. So if I go back here, uh, all of the IDs you might be able to see in the bottom left are rendering correctly. So if I click on clippers, it takes me to slash 13. Bad thing is we need to get static paths. So when you are using static site generation and you're using get static props to fill in your templates, you need to let next know what the URLs for your application are going to be. Since this is building it all ahead of time, next needs to know what to build. And so we can map through all of these different IDs and tell our application that the URLs are going to be based off of those IDs. So let's figure out how to do that. If we go back to our id.js file, we're going to make a few small tweaks here. So in get static props, for this individual ID page, we don't want all of the teams. We want to find the endpoint for the uh, for the individual team. So let's go back to ball don't lie API. And if we want to get a specific team, we're going to grab this endpoint here. And we can paste it in and we'll make some adjustments. All right, so first thing we know that this is going to be dynamic. So instead of these double quotes, we're going to use back ticks. And then with get static props, this context 
gives us access to a few things, one of which is params. And the params or the parameters uh, from the URL are what we're looking for. So basically this piece of the URL. So what we can do instead of ID is do dollar sign curly braces context dot params dot ID. And then for the individual team, instead of teams, we'll await that response.json and then pass them through as props. We can make this even cleaner by destructuring out context, uh, destructuring context to get out the params. So if we do curly braces inside here, we can now get rid of this context and make it a little bit cleaner. And so let's go back and see if we're getting anything useful here. If we refresh, okay, still need get static paths. Great, so let's go ahead and do that. Above get static props, we're gonna create a new async function called get static paths. It's not gonna take in any arguments. And for this one, what we're gonna do is we're going to actually use this initial endpoint call and then map through all of the teams to grab our paths. So in our index page, we use this endpoint to map through all of our teams to generate the list of names. Now what we're going to do for this ID is we're going to map through all of those teams, grab all of their IDs, and tell our application you need to make a page or you need to make a URL, a path for each one of these IDs. So here's how you'll do that. We've made our call, there's our teams, and then we're gonna make this paths variable. We're gonna take our teams.data.map and for each team, we're gonna implicitly return an object and we're going to set our params equal to an ID. Since we named this ID in the square brackets, we're going to call it ID here. And we're going to say team.id. This is actually going to give us an error, hopefully, and I want to show you that just so uh, if you see it down the road, you'll know how to fix it. And then we're going to return a, uh, an object with paths. And then we're going to um, set fallback to false. And this just means that if somebody hits a URL on your website, on your application, and it doesn't exist, it's, gonna, uh, it's just going to um, show a 404. So let's save this and flip back over. So get static paths. Now let's refresh. Okay, now we're getting a different error. This is good. A required parameter was not provided as a string. So the ID is coming back as a number. So this is a quick fix. It wants a string. We'll give it a string. So now if we flip back over here, cool. So it still says team, but we're not getting an error. If we inspect this, we see an object so this object is just referencing this team prop that's being uh, passed in. So if we flip back over, we open this up, there is our information. And so now all you need to do is just take that information and display it on the page. So we can do that real quick. Uh, let's just grab our team.full underscore name, I think is how it came back from the API and there it is LA Clippers. So now if I go back to my home page and I click on Bulls, Chicago Bulls, and obviously you can take this as many steps further as you care to, but this is how you would then uh, dynamically render this content. So with Next and with their static site generation, not only can you statically generate a standalone page, 
you can st uh, you you can create templates to statically generate a, a number of pages. You can use this for e-commerce. You can use this for blogs. Anything where you'd want to generate similar looking pages with dynamic content. So again, in order to do this, you need to make your template and that template needs to have the square brackets. And then you're going to need two things, your get static props and your get static paths. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. You can subscribe as well. That'd be great. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for following along. And until next time, have a good one.